Climate change is a change in climate patterns caused by a rise in greenhouse gases. One of the main greenhouse gases is carbon dioxide. And this is a sketch graph to show how carbon dioxide concentration in our Earth's atmosphere has increased over time. And after around 1800, we saw a gradual and then rapid increase in the carbon dioxide concentration of the atmosphere. And to correlate with this, we also saw an increase in mean global temperature. And although this global temperature fluctuates, which means it goes up and down over time, the overall trend is an increase in the mean global temperature. There have been thousands of studies into the link between an increase in carbon dioxide concentration and an increase in mean global temperature. And the scientific studies have been reviewed by other independent scientists and we call this process peer review. And now amongst the scientists there is an agreed consensus that the increase in carbon dioxide concentration is causing this global warming that we see. So let's look at how the carbon dioxide causes global warming. Well, it's due to an effect called the greenhouse effect. In order to sustain the variety of life that we see on our planet, we need the planet to be relatively warm. And for that, we receive solar radiation from the sun. And the radiation that we receive is called shortwave radiation. The Earth absorbs the incoming solar radiation and heats up. As a consequence, the Earth starts to emit, which means release, infrared heat waves back into the atmosphere. And these infrared waves are longer wave radiation. Within the atmosphere, there are a number of greenhouse gases including carbon dioxide, methane and to a smaller extent water vapour as well. Greenhouse gases absorb these infrared waves and stop them escaping out to space, thus heating up the atmosphere. So they absorb that radiation and re-radiate it back down to Earth, which in one way is a really good thing because it warms up the planet and is able to sustain a big diversity of life. However, as the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is increasing, like the carbon dioxide graph we saw, then there's more of this happening and more radiation is being re-radiated back to Earth, causing a warming effect. Some of it is able to escape, but the higher the concentration of greenhouse gases we have in the atmosphere, the more is being absorbed and re-radiated back to Earth, warming up our planet, hence causing global warming. So the causes of climate change are all linked to our emissions of these greenhouse gases. So burning fuels is a major one. It, it could be to do with burning fuels in vehicles, in factories, or in power stations, for example, because carbon in the CO2 was once locked up in fossil fuels. And whilst it was deep underground, it wasn't causing any problems. But now we've dug down and collected the fossil fuels and now we're burning them. We're now releasing that carbon into the environment, increasing the concentration of our greenhouse gases. Cattle farming is another big issue because cattle release a lot of methane, which is CH4. And methane is another one of our greenhouse gases. So a lot of our planet has been carved up for farming. And if we're talking about cattle farming here, then we've got this methane production, which is causing our global warming and hence our climate change. And cattle farming is linked into deforestation because in order to get the land for farming we have to often cut down vegetation and trees to make suitable land. 
And whilst trees are living, they take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in a process called photosynthesis. So when we chop down these trees and remove them, this process can no longer happen. So overall, we've got more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere because our trees aren't taking it in. Just be careful, some people get confused and think that when you cut down trees, it releases CO2. Okay, it doesn't at all. The effect that deforestation has is when you remove the trees, they can no longer absorb that CO2 from the atmosphere. I'm sure you would have all seen an image like this, because this is synonymous with what's happening in terms of climate change and global warming. So let's have a look at some of the consequences. The consequences of human activity increasing greenhouse gases and causing climate change include polar ice caps melting and sea levels rising. Floods, droughts, changes in where organisms live and more frequent extreme weather events. And all of these consequences you will see reported widely on the news because they are happening now within our lifetime. And we all need to do our part to try and reduce the amount of greenhouse gases that we release in order to reduce the impact that we are having on our planet. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.